Hey guys, I'm, I'm back with uh, Mass Effect. I decided to wait until I completed Mass Effect to do uh, Metal Gear Solid 3. And I don't want to do Metal Gear Solid 3 right now because after this walkthrough, I think I'm going to do Wolfenstein. So yeah. Well, uh, let me just turn my game up. Alright. Let's go. Take this. Shepard. I still have renegade points, but it's still but it's going away. Okay, charm. I, guys, whatever, if you're doing Paragon, do not upgrade Intimidate, because Intimidate will only work if you have Renegade points. I'm doing Paragon, this is a Paragon walkthrough, so I'm going to upgrade Charm. Okay. Caden. Upgrade Ashley. Caden. I'm just gonna do auto level ups for my cat for my uh, other guys. Holy crap! Cadence is. I think I just. Oh yeah, he is a sentinel, which means he's a biotic as well. Just like Shepard. We got him. Normandy, the beacon is secure. This is amazing. The actual working Prothean technology. Unbelievable. It wasn't doing anything like that when they dug it up. Something must have activated it. Roger, Normandy. Standing by. Uh oh, Ashley. Is my character okay? Oh my god, it's that giant flying hand. That's the flying hand, guys. We identified the ship that touched down on Eden Prime. The Normandy. A human alliance vessel. It was under the command of Captain Anderson. They managed to save the colony. And the beacon. One of the humans may have used it. Relay. I wonder what Mass Effect is. Is it the Galaxy or is it the Mass Relay? I don't know what it is. Doctor! Doctor Chakwas! I think he's waking up! Ashley is talking to me.
You had us worried there, Shepard. How are you feeling? Hey, Dr. Chakwas plays um, a character from Kotar. I think her name was Laura from Kotar. I'm going to put, uh, um, what happened? How did I end up here? How long was I out? About 15 hours. Something happened down there with the beacon, I think. It's my fault. I must have triggered some kind of security field when I approached it. You had to push me out of the way. Don't blame yourself. You had no way to know what would happen. She's smiling. Actually, we don't even know if that's what's going She likes Shepard. Unfortunately, we'll never get the chance to find out. The beacon exploded. A system overload, maybe. The blast knocked you cold. The lieutenant and I carried you back here to the ship. Thanks. I appreciate it. Again, with her smiling, she Physically, likes Shepard. you're fine. But I detected some unusual brain activity. Abnormal beta waves. I also noticed an increase in your rapid eye movement. Signs typically associated with intense dreaming. Not a dream, a vision. I saw... I'm not sure what I saw. Death? Destruction? Nothing's really clear. Hmm. I better add this to my report. It may... Oh. Captain Anderson. How's our XO holding up, Doctor? When all the readings look normal, I'd say the commander's going to be fine. Glad to hear it. Shepard, I need to speak with you. In private. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll be in the mess if you need me. Sounds like that beacon hit you pretty hard, Commander. Are you sure you're okay? I feel bad about Jenkins. I don't like soldiers dying under my command. Jenkins wasn't your fault. You did a good job, Shepard. Why is Williams here? Chief Williams isn't part of the Normandy crew. I figured we could use a soldier like her. She's been reassigned to the Normandy. Good. Williams is a good soldier. She deserves it. Lieutenant Alenko agrees with you. That's why I added her to our crew. You wanted to talk? You said you needed to see me in private, Captain. I won't lie to you, Shepard. Things look bad. Nihilus is dead. The beacon was destroyed and Gether invading. The Council's going to want answers. I did my job. The Geth would have wiped out the whole colony if I hadn't stopped them. I'll stand behind you and your report, Shepard. You're a damned hero in my books. That's not why I'm here. It's Saren, that other Turian. Saren's a specter, one of the best, a living legend. But if he's working with the Gith, it means he's gone rogue. A rogue specter's trouble. Saren's dangerous, and he hates humans. He wanted the beacon. He didn't come to Eden Prime because he hates humans. You're right. Saren has allied himself with the Geth. I don't know how. I don't know why. But it had something to do with that beacon. You were there just before that beacon self-destructed. Did you see anything? Any clue that might tell us what Saren was after? A vision. Just before I lost consciousness, I had some kind of vision. A vision? A vision of what? War. I saw synthetics. Geth, maybe. Slaughtering people. Butchering them. We need to report this to the council, Shepard. What will we say? What are we going to tell them? I had a bad dream? We don't know what information was stored in that beacon. Lost Prothean technology? Blueprints for some ancient weapon of mass destruction? Whatever it was. Sarah took it. But I know Sarah. I know his reputation, his politics. He has the secrets from the beacon. He has an army of Geth at his command, and he won't stop until he's wiped humanity from the face of the galaxy. I'll stop him. I'll find some way to take him down. It's not that easy. He's a specter. He can go anywhere, do we'll almost anything. We'll expose him. That's why we need the Council on our side. We prove Saren's gone rogue, and the Council will revoke his specter status. I'll contact the Ambassador, and see if he can get us an audience with the Council. He'll want to see us as soon as we reach the Citadel. We should be getting close. Head up to the bridge and tell Joker to bring us into dock. Alright guys, I'm in the part right here.